Hey there friends and neighbors, I got an update on my attempt to recondition these commercial grade batteries. It has failed. Uh, right there is what I'm testing, 5.9 volts, which by the way I had this uh, awesome die hard battery charger here. Uh, 275 amp capability. It's got the tester and everything in it. I completely forgot about that. I thought I was going to have to buy a tester. Uh, but I didn't get to test these batteries beforehand because I had overlooked this charger having all those capabilities. Anyway, just a couple of uh, side notes. This uh, by no means is a conclusive uh, argument pro or con for the uh, Epsom salt battery reconditioning um, experiment. I mean, these batteries that I took out of this backhoe were quite old and <clears throat> they, were, they were beyond uh, needing replaced. I mean, I had, to, I had to go out there with a service truck and, uh, you know, charge it up half an hour then 45 minutes then an hour you know and uh, when I pulled these suckers out to recondition them I couldn't get it to I couldn't get it to do much more than you know crank over a little bit and that was with the service truck uh, jumper cables attached and running so I think they may have been just a little too far gone but like I said in the earlier video I'm only using this backhoe probably five times a year ten times at the very most and I don't know in the seven years that I've had it if I've ever used it ten times in a year so uh, these batteries are quite old and and they were long gone so that's probably where you know they were when I pulled them so um, that said I'm concluding this test I have found a place where I can get these batteries remanufactured with exchange for 45 bucks a piece so that's what I'm gonna do instead of buying new ones you know I'm just gonna just gonna take these and uh, trade them in on some recon batteries for 45 bucks and you know if I have to replace those every year or two instead of spending 200 bucks a piece on these batteries here uh, new uh, because I am only using the backhoe just a, a handful of times a year it is something, however, that I must have out here. Uh, so I'm out in the middle of nowhere out here, and you know, I, I just have to have it. And when I do use the backhoe, uh, I absolutely have to have it. And uh, if I was to rent the backhoe every time I had to have it, you know, it'd be at a minimum, at a bare minimum, having you know somebody like Sunbelt truck it out here and uh, me use it at a bare minimum be 400 bucks a time. So. Uh, it's nice to have a backhoe. It's, it's just awesome. But uh, when you run against things like this and you're only using it five, ten times a year, you got to get a little creative with uh, how you maintain it. So uh, I did the Epsom salts three cups water to one cup Epsom salt. Uh, these things, these two batteries here, took about ten pounds of Epsom salts uh, in order to. Uh, fill them up with distilled water distilled water by the way uh, not that it matters in this case got a got an old rooster wanting to chime in here not that it matters much in this case because it didn't work anyway but uh, all the videos that I've seen you absolutely have to have distilled water and scientifically otherwise it it makes sense and uh so does the Epsom salt reconditioning thing. Uh, as long as you have a battery that is capable of being reconditioned without extensive uh, work. So uh, this one here did not work for me. And that's the conclusion. I got 5.9 volts on one battery. And that ain't going to turn that big old case diesel engine over. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab some reconditioned batteries and... Uh, just wanted to update everybody on uh, how this thing turned out. Not good for me, but I gave her a try anyway. All right, there it is. See you.